I'd say 23andMe is so, as much as we have the reputation for being the consumer oriented company, and we are consumer oriented, we're so heavy on the science um, that to us it was it was sort of obvious, you know, of course you're going to want your genetic information. We all want our genetic information. Why would you not want genetic information? Um, and I think that that's probably something that we we underestimated in terms of the fact that people don't really necessarily know exactly why, you know, what, what do they want to do with their, what do they want to do with the genetic information? Um, why would they want it? And, and creating, you know, I think about other industries where it's been a big technology shift. So something like TiVo. TiVo was a big shift in, in how people watch TV, but everyone understood the concept of TV. No one really understands the concept of, well, why would I want my genetic information? And, and I think one of the other big challenges that we have is that people, um, healthcare is not a true industry, healthcare is not a true free market because you are used to going to your doctor and saying you want X, Y, and Z and not paying for it. And, and so for that reason, us telling people, wow, you can get access to your genetic information, it's much cheaper than you know, some of the other ways you could get it, and it's all within your control, that, that's actually a, a hard leap for a lot of people because they're not used to paying for anything for healthcare. So it's one of the things that we found, we've discovered that we have to educate people a lot more um, about you know, preventative care, why they should actually invest in that, um, and what are things that they should do with the information, and the fact that they actually are going to have to take a lot more responsibility for, for their health. And, and that's, a, that's a pretty big adjustment for people. I think there's huge, there's huge questions to, to deal with. Um, it was funny, early on in the company, we engaged with a number of different bioethicists, um, and we actually talked about employing someone, and then we, we actually couldn't get anyone to join because everyone found that this topic was so interesting that they felt that they, this was gonna be pivotal to their academic career. So, um, so we've engaged with a number of people, and we've gotten them to you know, always give us feedback on it, um, but fundamentally, one of the things we've realized, it's an, it's an incredibly interesting area for the ethics community to talk about. Um, you know, fundamentally what 23andMe believes is that it's really about choice. And if you want to get access to something that is fundamentally yours, we believe it's your right to get access to it. Um, it's not for everyone. That's abundantly clear to us. And those people should not have to do it. And so, you know, 23andMe really wants to encourage the debate. Um, we want to encourage the debate. We want to be a participant in it. We want to be supportive of it. Um, and I think we remain very firm in that we believe individuals should have the right to get access to this information um, and how it's going to be used um, and what are the right, what are the good things and what are the bad things that society really needs to have that debate. And 23andMe will be there, but it's society to, should put the limits on it.